Hi there, my name is Chris Bunch and today I'll be doing a demonstration of AppScale. Let me start off by running an AppScale deployment since sometimes it takes a little while and I want to have it ready as soon as possible. The AppScale tools use a pretty simple command line interface with a few arguments on each function. Here the IPs flag tells us which boxes we want to run AppScale over. Since I'm running over Zen today, I have to provide it with an ips.yaml file telling us where all the boxes are. I have one master node located here and three slave nodes. If you're running over Eucalyptus or EC2, then you don't need to specify this file and you can just specify how many boxes you want to run over. The file flag tells us which application we want to use, so we use the guestbook application given out by Google. And the table flag tells us which database we want to use. And right now we support seven different databases, which are HBase, Hypertable, MySQL, Cassandra, Voldemort, MongoDB, and MemcacheDB, with others coming possibly in the future. Finally, the V flag tells us we want this to be as verbose as possible so we can see as much information in the system as I can. And we can see all that information being passed over here again. Here's my slaves. Here's the default replication factor for the database, which is three. And we run three app engines on each box. Let me go ahead and enter in a username and password, which will be linked to this application as the administrator. Okay, so now MemcacheDB is being configured and will about to be started up. And there we go. So now our application is being uploaded into the system and should take just a moment to start up. At the very end of this process, it'll give us two URLs, a URL to our application where we can go and see it, and a URL to the status page of AppScale, which tells us all a lot of information about the system. Let's begin with the second link, since it will eventually lead us back to the first. This page shows us the status of all the boxes in AppScale. So it tells us for each box, how much CPU they're using and how much memory they're using. It tells us how much um, how often the database data is being replicated, as well as the database in question. And it uses TCP dump to tell us the number of packets going locally for database reads or writes, or remotely for reads and writes. Finally, it gives us a list of the applications running within AppScale. Here it's just guestbook, which we just uploaded. So I will go ahead and tell it, sign a message to the guestbook. And I'll go ahead and do it one more time. And that's great and all, but that only gives us one application in our AppScale cloud. If we want to upload more apps, we can go ahead and do so as follows. And again, it'll ask us for an administrator username and password. If the user already exists in the system, then it doesn't need to create a new user, so it doesn't need to ask you for the password, which is why it's not asking us for it here. Let's go ahead and go back to that status page, which is now updated to show our new application we're loading, which is now wrong. Cool. This application lets us upload images and manipulate them using the images API that Google provides. I will go ahead and upload an image as follows. So here I just stick in a URL and it goes ahead and grabs that from the internet. And here it is. So the images API provides a couple functions you can use. So we'll use one of them, which just flips the image vertically. We also can test out other functionality, just such as rotating it. And there we go. Right now, I'm not logged in as a particular user, so it's just saved as anonymous, but I also could log in as a user if I wanted to and do so like this. I'll use the same username and password from earlier. And you can see that I don't have an application or an, uh, an image uploaded yet since the anonymous user had one, but we don't. So I'll go ahead and click upload and I will find a different image to upload for me. So we'll pick this one because that is relatively harmless. So again, I can save it and 
upload it here. If I, had the Im if I had the image saved on my computer, I also could just upload it here as well. And here's my image. It's got my username stuck on it, and I can perform any of the same functionality as before. If you want to see the status of an AppScale deployment, you can use the AppScale Describe Instances tool. It provides most of the same information as the status page, but gives you slightly more depth. So here I can see what the role is of each box and what it specifically is doing in the system. And I can tell it where it's accessing the database at. Here it's the same because it's memcached.db. That concludes today's AppScale demo, to which I will terminate our instances and give it the same list of IPs from before. And there goes that. So if I go back to the page, it now is not running anymore. So that concludes today's demo. Thanks for listening and have a nice day.